Greetings and welcome everyone. My name is Lokita Maka. Today we'll be going through the examination guidelines for Agricultural Sciences Grade 12, both for Paper 1 and Paper 2. So we won't be going through the question paper itself, but just the contents. We'll look into the topics that are covered uh, for both these papers and um, how many marks are allocated. So, yeah, let's firstly look into Section A uh, for both papers. So, basically, your Section A is just um, short questions. So, your MCQs, uh, multiple choice questions, the terminology, so you can either be given a description, then you just give one word, or maybe you are asked to define. Um, it's up to the examiners. We, we don't know. We all don't know um, what to expect. But the reason we would go through the previous question papers, the study guides, the textbooks, it's just to try and tap into the minds of the examiners, how they set papers, and all those things and then you also expect the um, match column A and column B so column B usually you are given um, the description then column A um, two options each description so you'll either choose now is, is it applicable to A only B only uh, both A and B or none of those um, uh, answers, right, or those options. Then um, looking into section B now. So your section B is out of 105 marks. So yes, your section A is just 45, but in easy yet um, tricky 45 marks so because your 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 multiple choice is about 20 marks and then the other questions um about 25 marks so with section b um three questions each 35 marks now let's look into paper one section b for paper one so we've got three topics b um animal nutrition animal production and protection, as well as animal reproduction. So with animal nutrition, I have um, done a video on this topic. This is 35 marks. So if you want to score yourself that 35 marks, go back to that um, screencast, listen to it, go um, rewind if you have to pause if you have to and take down, down notes, repeat it as many times as you want, if you want, right? So with animal nutrition, you are expected to know um, the external structure of the alimentary canal. Um, you, are able, you are expected to identify different digestive systems, uh, differences between uh, the digestive system of a ruminant and non-ruminant, the mechanical, chemical, microbial processes um, that um, is included in the process of digestion and also differences between a mature um, animal as well as a young animal. Um, microorganism functions, the absorption of food, the composition of feed, um, you will also calculate here you will also be um, given now an opportunity to use your calculator, right? So this is where you calculate feed, the nutritive ratio. I've also done one of the videos um, where I was calculating uh, feed using the Pearson square. So you can also go back to, to that video. So you also need to know the quality of feed. Um, the importance now of feed that is importance of proteins, energy, the energy units, um, be able to calculate the energy flow, um, the types of feed, there are a lot of things. Uh, you will be expect, expected to plan, to calculate, and also know the importance of water flow. Then coming to animal production. 
um, and protection. So basically, this is all about the production systems, um, intensive and extensive systems, the factors to increase production, the behavior and handling of animals, the transportation requirements, the tools, and all those things. Um, it also includes um, animal diseases, um, signs of poor health, testing health of animals, administering medicines in animals, um, the causes now of these um, diseases or the causes of poor health, the, the economic importance and also how do you prevent them now, and the internal and external parasites, um, the types of these parasites, the life cycle of uh, these parasites, um, plant and metabolic uh, poisoning. Um, this include, um, you also need to know the treatment now of your, of the poisoning, right? Then coming to reproduction, okay? Now, with reproduction, this is quite easy 35 marks. And I always say this, if you can understand the reproduction, uh, the reproductive system in human beings, then it shouldn't be difficult to understand the reproduction system um, in animals. So you need to know the reproductive organs, the system uh, for both males and female animals, um, the primary and secondary organs, the structures and their functions. You also need to know estro cycle. Remember with, with, with um, humans, we've got menstrual cycle, but with animals, or to be specific with cows, we've got what we call estrus cycle. So you also need to understand hormones, uh, the stages of estrus cycle, the signs, uh, characteristics, um, the, be able to identify heat uh, signs. If we're saying the cow is on heat, how do you identify it as a farmer? Now, the factors that may cause infertility, you need to know those things. And coming now to mating, um, we've got two different ways. There is natural mating and also artificial insemination. This is called AI or abbreviated as AI. Right? So when it comes to natural mating, you need to understand the concept of courtship in animals, the behavior, the stages, and with AI, the advantages, the disadvantages, the collection of semen, and also the actual process now of inseminating. Right? Um, you need to know embryo transfer and nucleus transfer, uh, fertilization in animals as well as pregnancy in animals, um, the fertilization process, formation of multiple beds, you need to know that, um, the stages of pregnancy, um, the beds, um, also milk production, um, the other structure when it comes to milk production, um, colostrum functions, lactation, all those things. Then um coming to your paper two now so your your paper two section b 70 marks <clears throat> this is agricultural economics oh, now you need to be smart with this one you need to score the 75 marks uh, this 70 marks, it's not, serif, it's not serif 75, excuse me, it's 70 marks. So your first 35 marks is on marketing and entrepreneurship. Now you need to understand the concept of marketing, the concept of selling, the main functions of agricultural marketing, which include your transport, storage, packaging, processing, 
and you need to be able to identify to define those and know the advantages and have examples price determination demand and supply the law of demand and supply you also need to be able to interpret now demand and supply uh, curve or graph so the factors which inf which influence demand and supply you need to know that um, the elasticity of demand price elasticity of demand and supply uh, price inelasticity of demand and supply so these are the things that you have gone through with your teacher right um, market equilibria those are the things that you need to go through and then um, the importance of market marketing systems approaches to market um, agricultural entrepreneurship what are we talking about when you talk of entrepreneurship you need to know that the concept itself the business plan why do we draft a business plan the reasons for drawing a business plan the sort analysis then the other 35 marks is on your production systems so there are four production systems your land your labor capital and management so you need to know those you need to know the functions the terms that are included the, the characteristics when it comes to labor for example you need um, to know the problems associated with labor the types of labor the methods of increasing labor productivity the laws the laws are very important guys the laws are very important then with capital as well capital assets cash flows budgets all those things that you may have done um, finance everything the main aspects um, which are included in the budget, like the cash flow budget, and then with management as well, um, the principles that um, are included in management. For instance, your farm management, strategic uh, farm risk management, general management skills, um, internal and external forces which affect farm businesses. Um, then the last 35 marks is your genetics and now you need to be able to define genetics so basic terminology distinguish between genotypes and phenotypes distinguish between dominant and recessive um, the Mendel's law be able to do uh, a monohybrid cross and how it relates now to your Mendel's law. Um, use a Punit square, there are schematic diagrams. Um, distinguish between um, the qualitative and quantitative characteristics, the variation and selection. What do you mean when you're talking about uh, mutation and selection? Um, what is the importance of variation what is the importance of selection now the external and internal causes now of variation so those are the things you also need to go through right and um go through the selection and breeding now um natural and artificial selection uh, the breeding systems so your inbreeding, line breeding, cross breeding, upgrading, species crossing, um, out crossing, all those things that you have done in class. So the basic important um, or the important thing that you need or skills, basic skills that are required from you um, is interpretation solving uh, looking into graph be, graphs be able to analyze graphs case studies um, drawing line graphs drawing bar graphs histograms there are a lot there are a lot of skills that are expected from you and you need to work smart you need to work hard and no cramming no cramming at all just try to understand the, the concepts um, and that will be it. So otherwise, guys, thank you so much.
thank you so much for tuning in i truly appreciate um until next